welcome to the Survive, Scale, Soar podcast. Hear and learn through the success of others how to build the life and business you deserve. Learn to overcome failure, what it means to seek out growth, and how to become the best possible version of yourself. And now, here's your host, coach, entrepreneur, husband and father, and author of the number one best-selling book, Survive, Scale, Soar, Jeremy Williams. Hey, it's Coach Jeremy, and I'm excited today to officially launch and host my new podcast, Survive, Scale, Soar. If you would have asked me even six months ago if I'd be hosting a podcast, the answer would have been absolutely not. Yet here I am. Before I share with you my current vision of the podcast and format, and the vision or format just may change because I've got that illness of being an entrepreneur, I have a couple of folks that I'd like to thank because I believe Having gratitude is something we all need more of in our lives. Since that's what we need, let's start there. The first is Chad Himes. Chad is a former coach I had hired to help me in growing Red Hawk Coaching, and he is a dear friend of many years. Chad is the current co-host on the highly rated business podcast, Win, Make, Give, which is also a part of the Ben Kenny Companies. He is also an author of the soon-to-launch book on Tuesday, Achieve Your Apex, which I know is going to be a bestseller. Chad knew that one of my dreams was to write and publish a book, and he knew it was a project that would come on and off my shelf, delaying the ultimate goal. He helped me to make the completion of the book a priority in my schedule. Not making it a priority would have only delayed it even longer. I thank Chad for that gentle and oftentimes not so gentle nudge. Chad also suggested that I take the book and turn it into a podcast to reach and help a larger audience. I'm thankful for his wisdom. Second is Tony Watley. I've known Tony and his wife, Lisa, for many years. My relationship with Tony actually began when I was still in real estate sales with Keller Williams. Sometime later in my sales career, Tony connected with me about selling their personal home in Houston. Of course, it was a success because they hired me and we've stayed in touch over the years. Tony and I reconnected back in 2017 when we were working on towards similar goals of launching our coaching companies. Tony launched 365 Driven, which has had massive success. He wrote the book Side Hustle Millionaire and speaks from stages across the country. Tony was also an integral part in me finishing up my book and connected me with an incredible publisher, Mike Fallett, and if you don't know him, you should know, of Dream Starters Publishing to make the dream a reality. Being a person that studies the success of others, Tony has been had great success with his 365 Driven podcast, and it only seemed fitting that success leaves clues. With a gentle nudge, Tony helped me to finalize my decision in launching the Survive, Scale, Soar podcast. Now that we have that gratitude to uncheck, the purpose of this podcast is to reach small business owners and to help them see the possibilities both in their lives and businesses. Small businesses make up the backbone of of this country, and I truly believe it is the small business business owners banding together that will rise uh, against the challenges our country faces from multiple fronts. The first few episodes will be based on the success strategies that are in my book, which by the way was an Amazon bestseller, And the lessons will come from my personal experiences along with the experiences through others. Once I've covered the seven strategies, I'll be hosting interviews with highly successful business owners and entrepreneurs. I believe that through these interviews, you'll find things that you can implement in your business and life. The conversations will dive into times of survival, the importance of looking to scale and scale properly, and finally, what it looks like to soar. These are going to be some amazing conversations and I know I'll be learning myself along the way. You will notice there are no ad spaces in this episode nor will there be in the future unless somebody's ready to write me a million dollar check. I might reconsider. These episodes are free to the audience. How you can repay me is to share the episodes with others. If the content is good, you learn something and you think someone else could learn something, great, share it. If the content sucks, don't share it. And then please don't tell me. So without further waiting, let's dive in. 
Today's episode, I wanted to give you an opportunity to get to know me, not what you might see on social media, but the real me. I'm in my 40s. I grew up in, in an entrepreneurial world where a lot of my family owned their own businesses. When I graduated from Texas A&M with a degree in sports management, I went into the workforce as a director for a YMCA. What I found out really quickly is that the workforce, it just wasn't for me. Remember, my mind was wired to be an entrepreneur, and the job I had was not all that fond of entrepreneurial thinking. So at the age of 24, I burned all bridges and the security net and hopped into real estate sales. I built a successful real estate business over a period of six years when I was approached about leadership opportunities with the national brokerage firm. Saying yes is my first exposure to coaching real estate agents. And for the next seven years, I split my time between coaching, training, and recruiting talent. In fact, I booked over 10,000 hours of coaching agents. While I was very successful in these different areas, I was always working to build something for somebody else and not myself. It was the entrepreneurial disease that continued to plague me. In 2017, I launched Red Hawk Coaching, and I am now approaching five years in the business. I primarily coach real estate agents, and I've helped many other small business owners over the years. Every day, I'm excited to wake up, helping others realize their true potential, even when they don't see it in themselves. I've witnessed lives change and businesses grow beyond measure. In 2021, I released my book, Survive, Scale, Soar, The Entrepreneur's Guide to Building the Life and Business You Deserve. It immediately became an Amazon best-selling book. Writing the book changed me and has given me a deeper desire to be able to reach and help more and more people. Some of you saying, wow, Jeremy, you are something. And no, I'm not something, but I am a somebody. And I want you as many audience, as, as you in the audience to realize you are somebody too. I'm a believer in Christ, which I'm not ashamed in sharing. I'm a husband to my beautiful wife, Lori. I'm a father to a 15-year-old daughter, Emma, and a 12-year-old son, Logan. I'm a son myself and a grandson. I'm a member of the Choctaw Nation. I'm a coach. I'm a small business owner, and I am an American. We all have things we identify with, and I hope that as you listen to future episodes of this podcast, we can all identify as being a movement with the desire to get better every day just a little better each day, every single day. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, I'm going to encourage you to share the episode and stay tuned to future episodes as they're dropped. Again, I'm so excited about what this is to become. Thank you for tuning in. And in the next episode, we'll dive into getting clarity. Lastly, take advantage of my special offer that when you purchase my book, Survive, Scale, Soar, on my website, www.redhawkcoaching.com. Again, www.redhawkcoaching.com. You'll also get my free digital product, the Survive, Scale, Soar digital training and learning platform with hours of training to help you and your small business. Don't miss this opportunity already taken by many. Thank you again. And until next time, onward and upward. Thank you for listening to the Survive, Scale, Soar podcast. If you heard something that made a difference in your life today, share it with someone that might benefit and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Learn more about the host of this podcast and coaching services offered by Red Hawk Coaching by visiting www.redhawkcoaching.com.